Hello everybody, welcome to another mod spotlight for Mod the Gungeon. This one is featuring a lot of unused cut Enter the Gungeon items. Like, these are straight up items that were su either supposed to be in the game, or that the devs wanted in the game, or just didn't quite think were good, quite good enough, or maybe, you know, they just couldn't make it in for some specific reason. This is a mod called Cutting Room Floor, made by Golden Revolver. There'll be a link in the description on how to get this installed in your game. But if you're new here, I'm going to be showing off a couple of the items. There's a lot of items. Show off a couple of items right away, and we'll slowly be giving ourselves items throughout the run to kind of give them a little bit of time to shine. But let me show off the first three items that we're going to be showcasing. First is going to be the active right here called Monster Ball. Probably see what this one might be possibly based off of 100% catch rate. Catches enemies and charms them upon release. Ancient monster trainers tried to use these balls to domesticate inhabitants of the gungeon. According to local legend, Emmett Calx threw one of these at the beholster. It didn't work. However, it did force the beast to blink, which allowed Calx to escape. So that's that. That is an active item. Obviously, you can catch them and throw them out like Pokeball. Pokemon with a, like a, it's a Pokeball. Bada bing, bada boom. Next, we got the Hungry Caterpillar. There's a caterpillar following you. It appears to be hungry for hearts. So this, it's going to be following us. We need to feed it hearts, and then we'll get something special when it consumes two entire hearts. And then this one is one of the ones that I'm most interested in. The Q-Bullet. It's bullet kin, corner pocket, passive. Substantially increases knockback on kills. Enemies hit by corpses take damage, having given up on ever killing their past. Many failed Gungeoneers pass the time by playing dumb games. Maybe one such adventurer missed playing billiards? So, in theory, you know, like the kind of thing you can do with Casey, apparently, we can do it with corpses now. Absolutely true. Absolutely true. This seems like this could get a little crazy. I know that's something they, uh, one of the mutations in, like, Nuclear Throne has something around that nature, I believe. Let's see. Oh, <laughs> I'm so into it. Wait, let's, let's catch something. I feel like we don't really want to catch the key bulletkin. I want to catch you. Oh. Ah, oh, shoot. So I gotta pick it back up. Now I can throw it and it is permanently charmed. Okay, so that it's permanently charmed, but maybe it only works for that one room. But clearly it still counts as an enemy because it made us walk slower. Oh my god. Q bullets actually seem kind of banging. Seem kind of banging. So I mean, Monster Ball, when it was a uh, when it was made, I guess things like movement speed out of combat weren't even in the game. So I guess that's worth considering as well. So I don't know how much of this code was already in the game. How much of it? There's a couple that were um, like pretty darn near complete. I as far as a concept, I think. But as far as what kind of code is in the game, I'm not quite so sure. But Golden Revolver took it upon himself to do the uh, the unthinkable. Now, do, do something very cool, and that's, you know, make it so with Mod the Gungeon we can actually experience these things and see maybe why the devs did or didn't want them, or honestly, maybe it's just like, it could just be theming things, like they just didn't quite work, or it could be any number of things. Any number of things. But the Q-Bullets, I'm into that. Honestly, I have no idea why the Q-Bullets are not in the game. No clue. Oh, can we... We... <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think that was a good idea. Alright, I'm gonna... Sorry, friendo. You're done. You're done. Yeah! I mean, we still get hit by the bullets. But that's actually... I'm, I'm into it. Not a bad idea. Not, not a great idea. No, it's not... No, I, what am I talking about? This was a... Stupid one to steal. Because all these enemies that have, um, well, I mean, it makes it easy to kill because it's not going to shoot us now that the enemies are gone. However, it also killed the item inside. Fantastic. I don't know. Yeah, like, why would they not want. I mean, sure, we'll get the ammo belt. Why not? Why would they not want this item in the game? I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it just didn't quite, wasn't quite as smooth or uh, smooth as they wanted. Or maybe they just came up with another item that was, you know, close, close to it. They wanted charm items to be kind of different or whatever. Could be either of those. 
But the Q bullets, I'm really into them. They don't seem like necessarily any more OP than um, a lot of other things that they added in the game in Farewell to Arms. Thematically, they, you know, what they seem. Re <laughs> All right, I am not gonna capture you this time. Kind of makes sense that we didn't get the item from the mimic. I'll be honest, I, I shouldn't have expected it, but I am disappointed. Disappointment is imaginable, and my day is ruined. Hoping we can get a little bit of uh, heart containers at some point here. So we are not heart containers, just heart drops so we can feed our little boy the hungry caterpillar. But let's see if we can give ourselves something else here. What else do we want? There's a lot of active items. It is a thing that I'm super noticing. Give let's So let's give ourselves the backpack. Give ourselves like five of those. And give... This prefix we need is GR for Golden Revolver. And then let's go with Bubble Shield. Interesting. Oh, it's a little it's a little piece of bubble gum. It's a, just a little piece of bubble gum. Don't swallow it. Extremely elastic, severely sturdy, and ridiculously regenerative. This magic bubble gum can be both a lifesaver as well as a pastime while exploring the dungeon. So in theory. Deflects bullets for a few seconds, recharges once every two rooms cleared. So it's got a different... Oh my god, the Q-Bullets. The Q-Bullets pulled a Casey on him. I did not even think for a second that that was going to be possible. Alright. Uh, yeah, so if you don't know, you can do the same exact thing with Casey. Which kind of, it's kind of weird, but you can do it. Come here, my caterpillar. Okay, so he only needs one more in theory. Um, I don't think we... Yeah, we couldn't, we couldn't buy any there, even if we wanted to. So other than that, let's let's give ourselves one more item real quick just to get this one out of the way. Because it's... This one was probably removed because it's, you know, not that exciting. It's the Ring of Lightning Resistance. Oh my goodness, you can probably guess what this sucker does. Prevents damage from electricity. A ring originally worn by Alistair the Thunderbolt. The gemstone set in the golden band is cracked down the middle. So, uh, we're, we're immune to electricity. You might be... This one is, like, the most obvious why, why it didn't make it into the game. Because it is so freaking weak. Okay, so this looks like... Gives us very clearly... Just like the potion lead skin effect. However, it's on a guaranteed two room charge. Guaranteed two room charge. I almost wonder if this was this one was like a really early, really early idea of uh, the potion of lead skin before they maybe uh, maybe tweaked it for something that's you know just a little bit more noticeable, a little bit stronger. I, I guess it don't it doesn't say it gives contact damage Hold on. doesn't say it gives contact damage doesn't mean it doesn't contact damage immunity that is let's catch a fireball no I assume that they are just like the other charmed enemies in the sense that they um, they take damage and they die just like just like the rest of them actually I want you no oh, I caught the wrong thing That's okay. Go! Eyeball chew. And then we can pick the ball back up and just... I don't know. Okay. You, you know, it's... I like the item a lot, though. I like the item. I like the concept. I can see... It's, it's not, you know... It's not... I can see it being balanced. It's, it's not OP or anything. If it can catch, like, bosses... Uh-oh. That's a little crazy. But taking, I don't know. It's interesting, it's interesting. I like it, I like it a lot. Catch him. Oh. Oh shoot, we used our other active item. Let's take this blue boy into the next room. If, see, if you could take it and then um, 
keep it throughout multiple rooms and then just throw out the same one overcharging. I mean, that could be cool. But it's not, it's definitely not overpowered. I'll tell you that much. Definitely not overpowered. I was, for some reason, like, when reading the description up, I was like, this might be too strong. I don't think so. Okay, starving personality. Let's give ourselves another active item here. Or let's give, uh, yeah, let's give Katana Dash. Katana Dash. All right. Dash into a direction, turning invisible and invincible. At the end of the dash, damage everything that was in the path. Can be used up to three times every room. All right, we're gonna we're gonna test this bad boy out. Well, doing do I, I don't think I dare. Katana dash when we have no idea what the distance is. Sorry guys, what am I doing? Huh, huh. Hey oh. Hey, there's the sticky bomb from Kyle the scientists mod. You can go check that out. That's another one that I did showcase. I've showcased a handful of mods at this at this point if you are oh no oh, i missed okay cool 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 idea three times every single room so it's in the direction of your dodge i like it it's a little like the, the, the pause on the end is a little high I do like it. It seems quite strong. It seems like it could be... Like, if you made it a little bit smoother on the end, if, if it was just, like, a little smoother on the end, I could see it being insanely strong. I guess it does depend on the damage. It's fun to use. It's fun to use. But that last little bit is just a little clunky. I mean, if we're invincible on the end, I guess it's not that big of a deal. If we're invincible on that last little section of it. What do you got up here? We got some, some turkey. Some toiki. Let's also go for... Okay. This one is... Uh, we'll try this one out last, actually. Thirst for Vengeance. I'll give it to myself now. No, I'll give it to myself later, otherwise I'll forget. Let's go for... Old Journal. Old Journal, luck or skill. Not taking damage slightly increases the chance for a room reward. Filled with maps and the answers of to half-forgotten riddles made by an experienced explorer. So I think it's just as straight up as it sounds. Not taking damage slightly increases the chance for a room reward. Alright. So I think that, same, okay, same effect as the Bugged Hunter's Journal. So it's almost like... Did you eat something else? Wait, you've not turned in, you've not given me the butterfly stuff yet? Excuse me? I believe you're supposed to give me the butterfly stuff now. Oh, he transformed! We got the fairy wings now. Fairy wings, a pair of enchanted wings which grant flight. Your caterpillar friend has metamorphosed metamorphosed into a wondrous creature. That wondrous creature is a spine fly, which burrows into the spinal columns of vertebrates. The survivors of this parasite sprout wings. So, does it do anything else? Grass flight rolling leaves pink slime that oh, 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 that temporarily charms enemies. I like it. I like it. And I love any anything else that grants flight. I'm I'm into it. Really cool. So that is what the hungry caterpillar quote unquote turns into. Alright. Give ourselves one more too. This one. Very, very interesting. Risk reward. Something I always talk about when I'm talking about new items. Brittle bullets. Risk reward greatly increases firepower. All equipped ammunition will shatter upon receiving damage. Takes an idiot to do cool things. That's why it is cool. So, this is like every single gun is, um, 
every single gun turns into whatchamacallit. The, uh, the, uh, like, glass cannon or the balloon gun is basically what that means. I imagine... Okay, let's take damage. I imagine it doesn't... Okay, it does not make it so we, uh, we lose our infinite ammo. I guess that's a, that's a good thing. I'd be a little bit confused if we did. Save it nearly as hard to uh, use as I was giving it credit for. It is just like that last little freeze on the end is just a little, a little clunkish. Oh. But the fact that you can use it three times in a room, it's a pretty dang good item. Blow. Like almost don't even want it. Oh, see, there we go. We lost all our ammo. This is a wild item. I, I like it, though. I like it. I like that it's in the game, because there's some situations where I'd be like, hell freaking yes. This brittle, brittle bullets opens up a very big opportunity to um, do a starter-only run and have it be smart. Maybe that's why they didn't want it in the game, because they didn't want it to have people do it that way like because it's you know it's not as fun to just use the starter maybe they didn't want to incentivize a run like that but i like that it's a thing that's possible you know like i'm i'm really excited a lot of these items i see so much so much uh just cool usage and i just i'm very interested in uh what like i said before if, well, if you're new here well welcome Subscribe to the channel because I show off a lot of mod the gungeon stuff right now and I do daily into the gungeon videos So definitely subscribe for that. Not a lot of places doing that nowadays But this is one place where you will surely always be getting a daily gungeon video. So don't you worry about that Don't you worry, sweetie. I got you covered um, But after I've showcased a like a pretty big deal of mods I just had to fix my headphones there and I didn't realize there was any enemies left uh, after I've showcased a decent amount, I am going to be doing just a modded series where I'm kind of just playing around with all of the mods in the game. Or like all of the mods that uh, that I find uh, worthy to be patched in. This is definitely going to be one of the ones that I will include in that, so very excited. Oh, you survived. The boy who lived. But brittle bullets, I'm I'm so into it. Is it really risky? Absolutely. Is it cool? Yeah. What does it give us for damage up? So we're at 2.5 right now. Holy man. It literally just does. I'm assuming that's multiplicative too. So 2.5 times damage up. That could get out of control. But this run is actually quite banging at the moment. I want to get some charm. I want to see this really work here. I haven't been paying enough attention to it. It totally works. That's honestly not bad at all. Like, I usually don't dig the, um, the poison trail stuff. Usually not my jam so much. Yeah, if we break it, we break it. I don't really care that much. Usually, the po like the poison trail, not my jam, don't really care, whatever. But the, a, an entire charm trail could go a long way. Could go a long way. Polaris. Risk reward X2, man. Well, we'll save that for a little bit later, though. We have something, we have something caught, right? We could katana dash, but I'd say that seems a little unwise. So, the Sticky Bombs from Kyle's Item Pack provides us an interesting uh, situation where... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. I got bot. Where it's actually really, really beneficial to use, like, the Blunderbuss there. Because it's a much higher chance of actually getting an explosive shot. So, this run is obviously going to be more OP than the normal one because, well, we're frankly, we're giving ourselves a lot of items. We're giving ourselves a ton of items. Speaking of, let's get to the next floor and let's give ourselves another one or so. So what else are we missing here? 
There's a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 items in this pack. I believe, I believe and counting. I believe and counting. There's definitely unused guns, but currently, currently mod the gungeon, guns are broken. So that is not something we can, could see quite yet. Here, let's do this. Table tech. Hole. <laughs> table tech, table tech hole. Uh, I mean, you can probably take a guess. Hopefully. This forbidden technique causes flip tables to increase exponentially in mass, collapsing almost immediately. The, in an app, an apocrit, app, what the, excuse me. I'm gonna just skip that one. That text of the table sutra. Of that which we cannot flip, we must pass over in silence. So we, uh, in theory, legitimately just get black holes whenever we flip a dang table now. Seems too good to be true. Does, it looks like my familiar might apply sticky bombs too, which is ridiculous. Haven't been using the uh, the Pokeball. Well, probably because we left on the ground. We can just mod back in if we really want to. Whoop. I think that, you know, the... the Sorry, the Monster Ball. Is that the same thing it's called in... Oh my god. In Isaac? I think it might be. Okay, so it's a really short-lasting. Very short-lasting effect. Alright, alright. Flip it. Flip it. It does the same effect as the black hole. But yeah, it's, a, it's definitely much quicker on there. Does not last nearly, nearly as long. We may have to drop it to really see the effect of another one here. Give GR table tech mirror indeed. Yeah, we will have to drop this one just to show off this one. Which is going to be probably, once again, something you could likely just uh, take a random crack and, and get the correct answer there. We are going to be able to reflect bullets. Might as well, whatever. Be able to reflect some bullets just by flipping tables in there. Oh. No. Okay, oh, they reflect when they hit the table themselves. That makes sense. So in the, oh, we did that pretty sloppy, but thankfully the table hitboxes are actually kind of weird. So we are just as, just as well off by uh, flipping them long ways. Doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter. Get out of my swamp. We should actually be doing some pretty insane damage that's what i was that's kind of what i was thinking that is pretty crazy man happy bullets don't mind if i do tiny tiny little damage up really not necessary bigger knockback maybe could play well with the q bullets that's another interesting thing always about these mods is thinking about how they might interact with uh with things that are already in the game like a huge knockback up could maybe go really well with Cubulus because maybe it maybe it propels the the body further. Spread the charm. But the Cubulus, maybe my favorite. Brittle, well, the brittle bullets, Cubulus, brittle bullets, maybe my favorite. I'm always a I'm a sucker for bullet modifiers. What can I say? Absolute sucker for them. Genius. Genius. Ammo issues abound with brittle bullets, that's for sure. I mean, I'm not going to take that. We just have too many too many other things. Oh, we got rid of the Poke Bowl. Poke Bowl. You got to get me. Get out of here. Get out of here. Uh, oh, it's over here. Need more guns because if we get hit, we lose the ammo, so. Obviously, that's a problem. Let's give ourselves Thunderbolt is another one. 
So that's going to be shrinks and dazes enemies for a brief period of time, increasing damage dealt to them. Shrinks and dazes in the end. Said to contain the soul of a famous gungeon near. All right. Pop on in. Blap. Uh, hell yes. I love it. Very Mario Cardian. Oh my god, we're just... We're just getting bopped by brittle bullets. Bopped by brittle bullets indeed. What else do we got? We got... All of them... Alright, all of them are indeed... Here, except for one. Which I am going to save for last. Because of, uh... Ex you know, the, the, the nature of it. You'll, you'll see. I'll give it to myself right now. Uh, <laughs> Thirst for vengeance. Slaying an enemy during your last breath prevents death. Sometimes getting even is all you've got left. So within the last three seconds, after you die, you get a three second window to kill another enemy. And if you do kill them, then... Uh, oh, I didn't even see what the challenge was. Assume it's just no dodge rolls. It's what always, always what it is when I'm uh, not paying attention. So it's a way to potentially never die if you, you know, you're in a situation where, like, it, it doesn't seem as useful for, for bosses, I guess, though, unless you literally die like right on the last frame or so of the boss. Doesn't seem like it's gonna be that helpful there. Doesn't matter. We're not. We're only gonna go to the dragon. I'm definitely like, if I die, I die. I'm not even gonna. I ain't got no worries about it. Don't really want a katana dash. Thunderbolt does not work on bosses, as it shouldn't. Okay. Feeling like yep, our explosive thing is gonna die there. Whoa. What boss? Absolutely what boss. Okay. Just go on up to the next floor. Down to the next floor. Double check in here. Okay. Katana dash. Thirst for vengeance. Hungry caterpillar slash fairy wings. Q bullets, old journal, monster ball, table tech hole, table tech mirror, brittle bullets, bubble shield, thunderbolt, ring of lightning resistance. So that is indeed all of them. So we are we are rocking the whole posse here. And like I said, if you want these in your game on PC, I don't I don't think there's any way to get it on console yet. I don't know if there will be. I'm not sure. I'm not the guy to ask. You can download them with the link in the description. It's really quite easy to install mods for Mavi Gungeon. And not, not hard at all. Maybe it might look complicated, might look like mumbo jumbo. Ain't, ain't a big deal at all. Another thing I will link in the description, I mentioned in the last Mavi Gungeon showcase that Kyle the Scientist was working on a, was maybe going to do a tutorial for how to make passive items. He has since done this tutorial. I will link that in the description. If you're interested in trying your hand at maybe making a pack of modded items for me to try in the, in the future, you can, or just to have to goof around with for yourself. It does not look too complicated either. Honestly, it really, really seems not as bad as you would think. But alas, that will be a link in the description for that. I would love to see a, a huge boost in uh, amount of mods on the modding website. That would be fantastic. So, okay, that kind of thing there. Gave me a little bit of pause. A little bit of a rough situation. Oh, that delay. It's just, it's so bad. It's so hard. Bot. All right. Let's find Mr. Dragoon and end this. I kind of want to. Hmm. I kind of want to get the monster ball back. See if we can find maybe a nice big boy to protect us. Stinger. Good deal. What's that, Cindy? All part of the club. But. All in all, as I've always I've asked in all of my item mod showcase videos, 
Optin's Point, once again, if you missed them, go check them out. Subscribe for more. Yada, yada. Uh, go check those out. I. What is your favorite item in this pack? At least so far. Like, what? what is your favorite thing that you've seen here? Oh my god, genius. Just switch to my standard. What's your favorite thing you've seen here? Comment down below. I want to know. I want to know your favorite. Mine is... Pr oh my god. Oh my god. I'm getting bopped so hard. Brittle, bu brittle, brittle bullets. Seem like... The, you know, there's super risk reward. That's for sure. If you have ways to get a lot of ammo, though, it's super good, though. Just give yourself, you know, you have reload stone or something. Oh baby, that's a that's a banger. That's a banger indeed. The monster ball, you know what? You have to consider the monster ball is pretty good because it does just insta kill an enemy too. Huh. Can we just roll over? Oh, if we could just roll over them when they were tiny, that'd be amazing. Kind of want to die in a situation where we are obviously going to be able to kill an enemy in three seconds. Just to test out the item, I'm going to save it for a little bit here. If you want to find Monsieur Bose. Stout bullets will be another, another fun addition here. Okay. Shall I test it? Oh. I tried. I tried. We can honestly just find a room and just spawn a bunch of bulletkin. Alright, you know what we're gonna do? Is it just... Let's do... 10. Alright. End me, boys. End me, boys! Okay. Uh, spawn... Bullet can five. Five more. Just in case. Alright, if we, this may be the end of it if I don't. Oh. Oh. Okay, but it does not like. It doesn't like heal you or anything. So, uh. Oof. We're dead? Is basically what I'm getting. And that's fine. Let's give myself, uh, let's give myself a, a pig. Let, let's see if we can do this without getting hit, though. I don't want to use the pig. But moreover than that, I don't want to not use fun stuff. Oh my god, I made this so much harder for myself by adding that guy. Uh, you were supposed to help! Got brittle bones and everything, so we- oh. We're dead. No! So that's what it looks like when you legit die. But we are going to get Hero Pig to save us here. But that's what it looks like when you legit die with that thing. Y you know what? Like, cool item. As far as... As far as the uh, bring back from light, uh, from death goes, it's pretty, pretty interesting. It's definitely, like... With Pig being in the game, it's definitely garbage by comparison. Like, by co direct comparison to Pig, it sucks. Oh, it sucks. But, uh, you know, it, it's neat. It's neat that it's there. I feel like it's a lower tier. Like, maybe it's, uh, I don't know what chest you would find it in. But it's um, probably something you would find in a lower tier chest. So the fact that there is a potential lifesaver item in a lower tier chest like that is pretty cool. Bada bing, bada bye. See ya. No, I won't, because you died. But anyways, that was the lovely cutting room floor pack. The unused item, cut item pack from Golden Revolver. Go check it out for yourself with the link in the description. Go check out the Kyle the Scientist guide on how to make your own custom items. Old custom item packs up of that nature. I am very excited to see what you guys potentially have in store for you when you uh, potentially take up modding. Because I would love to see a blast of new new content creators uploading new mods and items, keeping the keeping this game alive for longer. That would be fantastic. 
But that is going to do it for now. Like I said, subscribe for daily Enter the Gungeon videos. Every single day I put out Enter the Gungeon videos, at least one. And a lot of which are going to showcase cool new mods that you may not get to see otherwise. Follow on twitch.tv slash retromation to catch me streaming games, including Enter the Gungeon live. And join the Discord if you have any suggestions for mods you want me to check out, any custom challenges you would like me to do once I run out of mod show mods to showcase. Hopefully that doesn't happen, but in, in case I run out of mods to showcase, pop into the Discord, leave that, or that link is left in the description as well, as does, is everything else. Thank you so much, though. Thank you, thank you. See you next time.